One of the interesting things about Senegal is the level of uh, Arabic proficiency. Mm. Like you have many people in Senegal that are, that speak Arabic very, very well, really well, and write it very well as well. But I completely agree with you about Mauritania being this ancient kind of it's like you've gone back in time. It's like, what am I feeling here? Ah, one hundred percent. I agree. I agree yeah. with you. It's on my list to go to. Absolutely. Actually, my middle, uh, my youngest son, his middle name is Sadio mm-hmm. because I'm a big Liverpool fan. So uh, it's a beautiful people, name. Call him Sadio. Mm-hmm. And I was reading the Arabic version of Sadio. It's actually Saju. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, seen, uh, seen mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jim and Wow, Saju, uh, but obviously with French because they speak French in, in Senegal as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, interesting part of the world. And I also want to go to Mali, mm-hmm. to, to see the the mud masjid. And again, an, another Incredible. country, another land, yeah. which is back in time for the final. And um, mm. in today's fast paced consumerist society, materialist society, secular society, mm-hmm. we really lost touch with um, the source, the source with a capital S. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, like we, we rush, like they say, we, we rush to charge our phones and our, and our cars as well nowadays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, we don't actually charge ourselves and, mm-hmm. you know, we are disconnected mm-hmm. from the source. 